All right, good afternoon. Today we've got a Square D Type VR vacuum circuit breaker. This one is a 5 kV class, uh, 1200 amps. Um, it was recently brought in because the mechanism uh, became loose inside the frame and was causing the issue where it would trip free. So right now I'm going to run it electrically. Um, currently the breaker is charged. We'll close it, charge it, run it through all of that, test that, and then I'm going to give you a close-up view of what to look for on these breakers to help you prevent uh, getting to the point like this one did where the mechanism gets too loose from its subplate and uh, it will break that plastic front cover and eventually trip free or not operate at all. Uh, so first we'll go ahead and run it electrically a couple of times. As you can see, the breaker is now closed. Charge. We'll trip it. Close the breaker again. And trip it one more time. We'll charge, close, and trip all sequentially. The breaker is now open. Disconnect this here and then zoom in, show you those points to look for. So you can see that there's a threaded screw um, right there that sticks out about a quarter inch from that um, threaded insert. That's what it should look like. There's one. Second one is down here behind the gear. These are the two on the left side of the mechanism. If you come around to the right side, there's number three right there. And then the fourth one you can see kind of be behind that spring hanger pin there next to some wires. Those are a number eight metric bolt and like I said they should stick out about a quarter of an inch from that threaded insert. Uh, if they're not sticking out that far um, or if you can pull on the mechanism at the bottom and it wants to move from the back plate now this one's been repaired but if it wants to pull away from that back plate at all then you've got a potential issue starting on your hand and it probably needs to be looked at uh, that's something that we can go ahead and help you out with. Um, we pull the mechanism out of the breaker and retighten those and apply some Loctite on there. And once that's done, the breaker is good to be put back in service. Uh, any questions, just give us a call, 800-263-1170. And thanks for watching.